Hi, I'm Nick Sharrett. I illustrate Jacqueline Wilson's books. Jackie and I have been working together for a long time, about 25 years. And welcome to my studio. Uh, as you can see, it is a little bit of a mess. So you're very lucky to see it because I don't normally show people my studio. I call it a creative mess and uh, it's where I'm very happy working and drawing. So I think we should do some drawing together, don't you? Why don't we draw Hetty Feather? I would draw the shape of her head first of all. Once upon a time I used to start my drawings by doing the eyes and the nose and the mouth straight away but I think it's much easier if you draw the outline of the head and then you can get those features in exactly the right place. So there's her head, she's got a slightly pointy chin um, and then I can draw the nose in there, she's got a little nose and her mouth and two eyes. You can see that I keep my features quite simple. I just draw dots for eyes and simple lines for, for her features. So then I'm going to give her a fringe. Now Hetty has got magnificent red hair um, if you're colouring in your picture later on. And I give her two eyebrows. And then I'm going to draw her hat. Now she wears a sort of a bonnet type hat, a cap, a white cap, which is part of the uniform at the Founding Hospital where she spends so much of her childhood. And it's a bit of an odd shape like that. So that's her cap. And then I'm going to draw her neck, just a bit of neck showing because she's wearing a sort of a bib that comes right up to her neck and is a sort of triangular shape down the front like that. And before we carry on with the rest of her body I'm going to draw her plaits. Oh Jackie, lots of Jackie's characters have plaits um, and they're tricky things to draw, they're tricky things to draw but don't worry too much, draw two wobbly lines like that for one plait and two wavy lines like that for the other plait and then do some sort of crisscrossing lines inside the plait to show how it's been put together. So next let's draw her arms. Okay so she's wearing a brown dress which is made from pretty scratchy material and it's short sleeved and it has white cuffs at the end of the sleeves and then I'm going to draw her arms now her arms I'm going to draw her arms at the side of her body and her hands at the end of them obviously now Hands can be tricky things to draw. I find them quite tricky to draw a lot of the time, but something I try to remember is that the thumb is a little bit shorter than the fingers, so I make the thumb a bit shorter. Now, Hetty is quite small for her age. A lot of people think that she's actually younger than she really is. So, and she's quite slight. So I'm going to try and make her look like that. So I'm going to give her two lines going down to her waist and then the front of her apron and uh, the next thing to draw is her skirt. It's quite a long skirt. It comes down to her calves I think. So Two lines coming down like that and the bottom of the skirt and on her feet she wears a pair of quite uncomfortable looking black boots uh, so I'm going to draw those on her feet quite clumpy boots and they are 
black. So if you're colouring in your picture later on, colour in her boots black. Some laces. And then just draw her legs. And here we have Hetty Feather. Have your Hetty Feathers turned out? <laughs>